investment firm Stocks and Securities Limited has been barred from trading online. The company is at the center of a massive fraud investigation after billions were reportedly stolen by a former employee. In an email, the Jamaica Stock Exchange said that trading activities through SSL have been suspended until further notice. It said all transactions should be processed by contacting SSL directly. The company had previously been restricted from conducting any trading activities without the oversight of the Financial Services Commission. The multi-billion dollar fraud, which has affected some 40 investors, including Olympian Usain Bolt, has garnered international interest. The U.S.-based Federal Bureau of Investigation has been called in to assist. Real estate investment company First Rock has taken a majority stake in the Jamaican arm of the international real estate brand Century 21. The acquisition will see the formation of First Rock Century Holdings Limited. First Rock has not revealed the cost of the acquisition or its percentage ownership. Century 21 has operated in Jamaica for over 30 years under the leadership of businesswoman Deborah Cumming. According to First Rock, the partnership will help the company expand its reach locally and in the region. First Rock reportedly already has its eyes on expanding the Century 21 brand in the Caribbean. EdTech company One-on-One -on -One has finalized an agreement with the U.S.-based Community Systems Foundation to expand its national digital education ecosystem across the Caribbean. CSF is a non-profit organization that focuses on the sustainable development of communities using IT. The system combines One-on-One's learning management system and the CSF-designed Open Education Management Information System software. The platform allows the full digital integration of a country's education system. The Bahamian government already uses it. According to One on One, the finalized agreement will enable the company to offer the software across the region. Dollar Financial has inked its second partnership in as many weeks. The company recently announced a partnership with exclusive travel deals. The deal will see Dollar providing Jamaican customers with up to 75% financing to cover their travel expenses. The customers will have four to six months to repay. Last week, Dollar announced its partnership with Fosrich to provide up to 90% financing to customers looking to buy solar equipment. The International Monetary Fund IMF says the global economy is still expected to decline in 2023, but at a slower rate. In its latest report, the IMF said global growth is expected to fall from 3.4% in 2022 to 2.9 percent this year. This is up from its October estimate of 2.7 percent. The agency said it's cautiously optimistic as the latest downward trend in inflation suggests that inflation may have peaked in 2022. It also predicted global inflation to cool to 6.6 percent in 2023 and 4.3 percent in 2024. The report also predicted fewer countries facing recession this year. The agency no longer anticipates a global downturn. The IMF said it expects global growth to rebound to 3.1% in 2024.